Hey guys, welcome to the first of our weekly tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be going over muzzle flashes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the point where your muzzle flash takes place. For instance, mine is right here. So now we drag our muzzle flash into the timeline and position it. Take into account this should be about the size of the gun. So, this is only for handguns, by the way. Um, machine guns and assault rifles could be different. It matters. Alright, so now that we have it positioned, uh, change the blending mode to screen. And go into the color correction tab and give it a tint to match the lighting of the scene. So, um, for this tutorial, it's about 20%, and yeah, that looks good. All right, so now we're gonna go into the effects tab and go down to stylize and glow. We're gonna bring down the threshold to 50% and the glow radius we're gonna bring up to 16. The intensity should be brought down to 0.4, and that's all we need to do with our flash itself. Um, wait, no, I forgot something. Uh, go into the go into your effects and enable time stretch. Um, we're actually speeding it up because it's in 24 frames per second, and I shot it in 29.97. So we're gonna bring that down to 70%. So it's only one frame long now. Okay. Um, now we're going to du duplicate our muzzle flash and go into the blur tab. And select box blur and apply it to the bottom layer. Um, we're actually creating the environmental glow right now. It should be about, um, I think, 100. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now that we have this done, we're going to simulate the slide going back. So hide your muzzle flash layer and your environmental glow and select your bottom layer. Duplicate it and close the in and out to, one, to make it one frame long. Okay. Take your masking tool and mask out the gun slide because now we're going to simulate the slide going back. <sighs> okay, then just move it back and it should. This may take some adjusting, so bear with me. I know, it looks pretty bad right now. So we're going to add a Gaussian blur to that layer to kind of blur the edges and get rid of a lot of the stuff. So I am going to use about... And let's see three. Yeah, about three percent three, and this just so you guys know, this goes by in like one frame, so it's very unnoticeable. Okay, now that we have our slide going back and our smoke, um, that pretty much sums up the basic muzzle flash. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, leave them below and suggestions for other tutorials in the future.